But watch what happens to this cover three cornerback. This is something like I've not seen yet, and it's all because of this swing route. You're going to see he just completely whips Up. and lets the tight end just run straight past. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be going over an offense that I put out yesterday. I'm also going to go over a defense that I put out two days ago. But I'm going to mostly focus on the offense because I told you guys I have an offense that to me is one of the hardest to stop offense, one of the glitchiest offenses in the game. And I promise you guys a gameplay out of it. I got a lot of gameplay to show out of this because I've been running it for a couple of weeks now. Uh, but for sure, I want to go over my team first because there's definitely an important stipulation when it comes to my offense, to my team, to make this run as efficiently as possible. You're going to need an elite speed tight end so i have uh vernon davis 100 maxed out you know 97 speed i mean that's going to be important but i could probably run this offers with evan ingram or darren waller any number of very fast tight ends will work but the faster the tight end the better the offense is going to work so that's probably number one and that's about it honestly nothing else really matters you just need a, a decently fast running back and a decidently fast quarterback and that's about all you need other than that i'd like to give a shout out to my coin sponsor if you guys want to get your my team up like mine make sure to check out my coin sponsor at mmoxp.com link in the description below use discount code money shot to get five percent off your order now getting right into the gameplay uh my opponent here has a pretty good team looks like he's got pretty much the same cards that i do he looks like he's got the eagles theme team going i got the washington theme team going but other than that we pretty much got the same squad uh getting into the game very first play i mean i don't typically show kickoffs this late in the video so something must happen as you can see on the very first play my defense parts like the red sea yep that's me you're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, sometimes I kick it to the fullback, sometimes I don't. This time I didn't and it totally bites me in the ass as my opponent gets a straight up gift on the very first play. Oh, come on! Still using the pistol playbook uh, and the formation I'm going to focus on, like I said, I broke this down in practice mode yesterday. It's the pistol weak slot flex. I'm really only going to use like three plays out of this entire formation. Sometimes I like to put a running back at this fullback spot. If it's a passing play especially, that's something that I'll try to do. Then I'll also put uh, my speed quarterback in. That's about it. Lamar Jackson, uh, he's going to and run this offense a little bit better than Rich Gannon. Uh, as far as the plays go, I mean, the halfback dive week, that's going to be a play that I use sparingly, but it's going to be a play that's important. And then the two most important plays, the play that I'm pretty much going to score just about every single touchdown in this game, and that's going to be the power option and the PA power option pass. There's a couple other plays that I sprinkle in along the way, like the halfback counter, the, uh, the halfback slip screen, stuff like that, but mostly it's going to be just these main plays. So if I come to the line and my opponent has a stack box kind of like he does here, it's a real easy read. I mean, I'm already cycling through the plays the second I see that and I'm looking for this uh, power option. I typically like to run it to the open side of the field or away from the receivers. I really find that it works best running away from the receivers for some reason. Then I'm going to hold the ball as long as possible. You can see right there I get the amazing pitch animation and just look how much space and separation it creates. I mean I'm 20 yards away from the nearest defender on a run play. So it's like that's what makes this play so broken is the pitch. That what the quarterback does. So in the next play I see he's running a lot of cover three. This is kind of the new meta and I got one of the glitchiest cover three beating setups in the game right now i'm going to use the pa power option pass on the next play this is something nobody knows about all i'm going to do is motion out this running back that's it i'm going to put this a route on a streak and i'm going to put this b route on a drag and it's going to make this play pretty much unstoppable against just about any single defense in the game but watch what happens to this cover three cornerback this is something like i've not seen yet and it's all because of the swing route you're going to see he just completely whips and lets the tight end just run straight past all i got to do is bullet pass lead to the sideline away from the safety and we have an easy one play touchdown from about 50 plus out. So we score on the second play of the drive. Like I said, you're going to see a lot of that. Uh, on the defensive side, I'm going to use cover four quarters. This is a defense that I just put out a couple days ago. Uh, I had a lot of people, a lot of feedback from people saying they were struggling with it. So I'm going to go over a couple of different things that you can do with this defense. As far as the setup goes, I'll put links in the description. I already went over the setup in practice mode and in gameplay. I'm not going to do that today, but it's basically all about this blitz. You can see this very first play. Run, bitch! Run! His defense is getting around because my opponent seems to have a play dialed up for it already. On the first two plays, he tries to do the exact same thing. Run. Roll out and hit this stop and go. Uh, and on the second play, you can see it works out. Run. You can see on the next play. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. 
We instantly get a sack. Then on the next play, I mean, he's trying to hit me with just the check down crossers. That's what most people have to do because the pressure is so unrelenting. This guy keeps going back to this formation, though. He keeps going back to this play. So I pretty much just have to watch for that double move out of that out of that receiver. And that's pretty much all I have to watch on third and 20. And that's exactly what he tries to do. As you can see, the double move, it looks like it almost beats it. No, nope. probably has the 99 overall Terry McLaurin running this route. But we're coming back the other way at the interception. So like I said, most people, they might have one trick or two to try to beat this defense. But once you figure out that trick, they're really not going to do a lot against it. So back on the offensive side, like I said, I don't care that I'm on the short side of the field here. I like to run it away from the receivers. I find it's better running it away from the receivers. I make the pitch and look how Lamar's just rolling up his sleeves and getting dirty. My quarterback. As Lamar comes in laying a block like a lineman finishing off the play. Gotta love that from your quarterback. So on the next play, the second I motion out the running back, you can see he reacts very oddly on the defensive side. Where you going? Like he's expecting the crosser to come in that direction. It just goes to show that this guy really has no idea what he's looking at. And most people won't because it's such a unique concept. There's nothing out there like it as he was running that cover through one more time. On the other side, my opponent immediately rolls out with Vic. I thought that he was going to take off. So I hit the R3 button. It was at this moment that he knew he f up. That was a huge mistake because I basically just gave up, almost gave up one play touchdown. But like I said, luckily I'm out here user and that's what makes his defense work on the next play. Beats the blitz with a quick throw. If your opponent starts doing that, and this is something I didn't mention in the other gameplay video, all you really have to do if they start hitting flats and stuff like that, set the blitz up like you're going to send the house and then basically just don't blitz the linebackers and put everybody in a hard flat. If you do that, you can see how the coverage is going to be there and your opponent's going to have a the internal clock in their head's ticking so they're going to try to get rid of the ball. Nope. On the next two plays I do that the next play here you can see I go with the quarter flats this time because obviously that hard flat was a little bit shallow and on the next play once again nothing's really there he rolls out I don't know how he got this throw out of sack and I don't know how he saw this guy open but that was just a hell of a dime Damn it! so it's tied up 14 all I got a good opponent here. I'm not gonna lie to you the guy that I'm playing right here aside from the fact that my offense is completely waxing him right now he's a very good player on the next play like I said you can see he's all about them crossers he's following it with the safety here but I just playmaker this guy up the field see ya. and then you can see we're just gonna get another big play this this is pretty much the only two plays I run this entire game. I mix in a few. You're going to see like right here I'm about to use the cross drag play. This is another play that I put out. All the other plays that I show you though, I will not score a single point on any of these other plays. I will only score in the two plays that I'm talking about. As you can see right here, once again he's watching for those crossers. Now you can see, I mean, we're just, we get a big play out of this but like I said, I will not score a point running these other plays. I also am going to run the week. I'll have links in the description for all these breakdowns that I've done. All these offenses are great but in this particular gameplay uh, footage they all pale in comparison. This one here, I'm going to use the triple option. Uh, this is still one of my favorite run plays. You can see we get a huge lane right there. And I probably should have scored, uh, but I just didn't have the acceleration. You can see it catches up to me. Then on first and goal, I go right back to that power option. This is one of the small downsides to this play. Damn! Damn! Is that this can happen if you do get the pitch out on the wrong time you can sometimes come up with fumbles and then my opponent picks it up and he gets another gift and he's taken into the house so this guy scored twice now once on a kick return once on a fumble recovery oh, come on! Uh, but he's on top bottom line then on the next kickoff I don't know man I thought that I could let this ball go out the back of the end zone or go out of bounds and get the ball at the 40 and sure enough that didn't work out so now we got our back up against the wall. We're going to go with the full house. This is another offense that I put out that, you know, most people have no idea how to stop. We're going to do a little bit more passing than we typically would do. This is more of a running formation, but most people don't see this route coming. As you see right here, I mean, nobody nobody expects that. So we get our back off the wall. We still have some time, and there's about, you know, a minute and a half left. When disaster almost strikes again. <laughs> But we get the ball back. So luckily, that would have been disastrous. We would have been down two touchdowns. On the next play, we're just going to hit him with some crossers again. Although he's been Johnny on the spot with these crossing routes. I mean, he's been taking the middle third safety, which I can't say I've seen a ton of people do, and basically bailing on the uh, deep routes and going for the crossers, which I thought left my tight end wide open over the middle. Nope. But I guess not. As you can see right there, Troy Vincent, who's having a good game for him, comes up with an interception. That's the thing about cover threes, man. It's really hard to beat cover threes deep now. So back on the offensive side, he's going to run that route one more time time hits me with that stop and go again and this time Troy Vincent gets burnt so with 54 seconds left and a half I'm down two scores things are not going my way but like I said I got this trick play in my back pocket this play could score against just about anything he's still following the crossers which I guess he overestimated what his cover three quarterbacks could do I see, I see, I see, I see. 
and we're just getting a huge one play touchdown. I mean, I was going by like 20 yards right there. So like I said, that's what makes this play so hard to stop. There's multiple routes on this play that can really score. Only down a touchdown, my opponent with ball on the next play. And Run, bitch! Run! I mean, he gets sacked instantly, man. I mean, he's running for his life. He calls a timeout, too, which I thought was kind of ballsy considering where he's at on the field. But I guess he's got faith in this next play. You can see he's just chucking it up. <laughs> We're coming back gotcha, with bitch. a user interception. We lurked that all the way. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging, oh. We're tying it up before half. So we're going to take that back the other way with Sean Taylor. Like I said, you don't want to throw my area. So tied up 28 all. I get ball at half. We're going to take the drag here. Even the drag here can be a very big play. That's the thing about this as we pick up about, you know, 20 yards right there. Just on a simple drag. That's all you really need to do. You don't even have to hit the long routes. Then the next play, we hit that toss one more time. Look at my quarterback once again, getting dirty, rolling up his sleeves, getting blocks. Then he comes back and he's shoving the pile. I mean, you got to love this guy's attitude. <laughs> It's my quarterback. So we pretty much only ran two plays, the power option and the PA option pass, but we're going to institute another one. I got so much misdirection going on here. I don't like to run slip screens, but I got a feeling that he's never going to see it coming. So on the very next play, he picks the wrong time to come off the edge with a user blitz. He would have worked out too. Fight! But we get the ball off just in time. We're walking into the end zone. Very easy touchdown. So like I said, I'm not a screen guy, but that worked out beautifully. And I used it quite a few times. This isn't the only game where I do that. On the other side, he's going to try to do the same trick. He tries to let the ball roll out or something. Doesn't work out for him either i almost get the hit stick i wish i would have tackled there and knocked him out the three but instead i'll settle for him being starting at the five next play hits me with a slant if you play underneath those uh zones will actually cover slants pretty well which is also something i didn't mention on the next play though i accidentally make a shift that i didn't mean to make which i thought was going to mess up the blitz but watch what happens this guy shoots right in through the a gap uh so that's something i think i'm about to lab a little bit more because obviously this blitz can work in multiple ways then on the next play he tries that quick pass he tried earlier Gotcha, and we're getting an interception going the other way so that's one of the reasons when you run this defense you really need a mid zone KO as you can see it really worked out there back on the offensive side like I said I'm just going to run this over and over and over until he stops it which most people have no idea how to stop it right there we just stretch it out as he barely <coughs> misses me Give it a little bit of a double juke <coughs> and we're pretty much in scoring range already I mean, we're up a touchdown we're about to go up another one um, we're just going to go right back to the exact same pass but like I said I only ran just about this entire game two plays one run one pass and boom we're scoring again right over the top as you can see he probably would have had a play if his own teammate didn't get in the way oh, bitch. Get out the way. watching that happen almost made me feel bad for him almost quick look at the yardage you can see I'm winning the yardage battle by a lot just under 400 yards and 300 of them probably came from two plays alone then you can see I mean we're basically just stretching this guy out get over here if you can use her and use this defense you're gonna have nothing but success uh and the blitz is gonna come home too on the next play i don't even know why the safety did that that safety is not supposed to blitz there yeah. for whatever reason he decided to and he gets an instant sack then on third and 13 he's trying to bomb it up which is what most people try to do out of desperation gotcha, and bitch. we're coming the other way with another interception with my boy sean taylor my, sean taylor ain't never leaving the squad so i'm gonna go to end the video there or more importantly my opponent's gonna end the video there if you guys want to see more game plays like this do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section this game was actually a playoff game so if you want to see the corresponding super bowl from this i mean it's another great gameplay but spoiler alert i'm gonna be using a lot of the same plays so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comment section hit the like button other than that thanks for watching man much it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below